Hi everyone, so today we're going to look at um, another few methods to solve um, polynomial interpolation. This is a big topic, okay, and if you watch my previous videos, I've already explained about a few other ways to find this polynomial um, equation. Now we're going to look at just a three set of data. Okay, for example, let's say we have this three set of data. One, one, two, four, and four, five. Okay, for this set of data, what can we say? Okay, we know if you're given a two set of data, we can have a a polynomial of degree 1. If you have three set of data, we should have a polynomial of degree 2. So our polynomial should be in this form. a naught plus a1x plus a2x squared. Okay, so one method that we're going to look at today is use Lagrange polynomial. So we want to use um, Lagrange polynomial interpolation. Okay, this is our goal today. Use Lagrange polynomial or Lagrange approach to find the required polynomial for this given set of data. Now, in the Lagrange approach, the interpolant condition is given by P and X equals to the summation for i equals to 0 to n l i x y i now y i are the y values so such as in this case we have 1 4 and 5 so the l i the summation of l i consists of this uh, product sum of j from 0 to n x minus xj divide by the product sum of j equals to 0 to n xi minus xj now take note that j cannot be equal with i. Okay, if you have that equal sign here, what happened? Your denominator will be 0 and you cannot divide by 0. Okay, so let's look at uh, the given data, set of data. So we want to find P2 equation. So we have 1, 1. 2, 4, and 4, 5. Now, we want to find P2. Why P2? Like I said, you have three set of data. Your polynomial should be in degree 2. So, we can write it. P and X by Lagrange polynomial is given by summation I equals to 0 to N l i x y i therefore i start from 0 1 2 so when such that p 2 x is given by l naught x y naught plus l 1 x y 1 plus l 2 x y 2 okay we know the values of y0, y1, y2. Okay, so y0 here is 1. This is my y1. So this is my y0, y1, and y2. Okay, now we want to find what is L0. Okay, so we know Li, like I said, is given by this product sum 
j from 0 to n x minus xj divided by the product sum of j equals to 0 to n xi minus xj where j cannot be i. Okay, by saying that, I can write few equation here for L0, which is given by summation J from 1 to 2. We cannot have J equals to I. Okay, we cannot have 0 here. We should start with 1. So, we have X minus XJ over summation j equals to 1 to 2 xi minus xj okay so you start with 0 okay this is for l0 so you start with 1 okay you cannot have like i say your j cannot be equals to i I. Okay, so we just have to expand this in, in a product way. So when j is 1, we have x minus x1. And then when j up to 2, we have x minus x2 over j is 1. So i is 0. Okay, my i is 0. So x0 minus x1 multiply with x0 minus x2. Okay, so by having this, what we have here, x1, x1 is, okay, so now you know this is my x0. This is my x1, this is my x2. So x1 is 2, x2 is 4. So therefore, I have x minus 2 multiplied with x minus 4 over x0, which is 1, 1 minus 2, 1 minus 4. Okay, so we have this L0. Now, the process is to find all these values or equation of L0, L1, and L2 using the similar process. So, to find L1, now using this um, summation product rule, we have G equals to 0. Okay, because this is 1, we can start from 0 to 2. x minus xj divided by summation j equals to 0 to 2. xi minus xj. Now, take note that my i now, 1. So, since i is 1, my j cannot be equal than 1. Okay, so by having this, I can write this equation. When j starts from 0, I have x minus x0. Multiply with, so product sum, so you multiply with x minus x2. Okay, can I have x1 here because i is 1 and j cannot be equal to 1? Divide by, start with x1, i is 1, x1 minus x0, multiply with x1 minus x2. Okay, now to substitute um, the values that we know, x0 is 1 and x2 is 4 over x1 is 2 x0 is 1 2 minus 4 there you go so we have found the equation for l1 
Now similarly, we need to find another equation for L2 which is summation from J equals from 0 to 2. No, from 1. Okay, not 2 because my I is 2. So J cannot be up to same with I. So this will be X minus XJ over summation j from 0 to 1 x i minus x j and take note that j cannot be 2 okay by having this we can write down x minus x 0 multiplied with x minus x 1 over i is 2 x 2 x2 minus x0, x2 minus x1. Okay, so x0 is 1. We have x minus 1, x1 is 2, x minus 2, x2 is 4, 4 minus 1, and 4 minus 2. Now what we do with all this L0, L1, L2 that we have obtained. So we look back into the polynomial equation for uh, by using the Lagrange. Which is given by L0x, Y0 plus L1x, Y1 plus L2x, Y2. Now based on this information, now we can substitute every values that we have obtained such as for L0 we have obtained x minus 2 multiplied with x minus 4 divided by this okay so I'm gonna just write it back we have x minus 2 x minus 4 divided by 1 minus 2 1 minus 4 of course you can simplify this now why not like I say, why not is this y values here. This is my y, why not. 1, y1 is 4, y2 is 5. So, y not is 1. So, I have 1 plus L1. We have obtained earlier on x minus 1, x minus 4, divide by 2 minus 1, 2 minus 4. Now y1 is 4 plus L2. This is L2. We have x minus 1, x minus 2 over 4 minus 1, 4 minus 2. Now y2 is 5. Okay, now all we try to do is simplify this equation. So, I have here minus 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, negative 3. So 1 over 3, I have 1 over 3, x minus 2, x minus 4. Now for this one, in this case, we have, this is 1 here, minus 2. So 4 divided by minus 2, we have minus 2 x minus 1, x minus 4. And then this equation uh, here, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so 5 over 6. We have plus 5 over 6, x minus 1, x minus 2. Okay, so this is our final answer for the polynomial P2x. Like I say, P2 is degree 2. So we have a quadratic. We should have a x squared here. x squared. So you can, you can expand this equation or you can just leave it as it is. Okay, so this is how to find the polynomial for a given tree set of data. So another approach is you can also use Vendermann matrix. Vendermann approach. Okay, see you in my next video. That's all for today. Bye.